Shout out to my subscriber, Lakers fan 87 I believe it is 87 who informed me of something very interesting about Joe Biden's pet bison, Simone Sanders. So as y'all know, I really, I recently did a video talking about these allegations from this woman by the name of Tara Reid against Joe Biden back in the early 90s. And how a lot of these Me Too heifers and Time's Up skinks have been giving him cover because they want him to beat 45 in the upcoming election. Well, one person who we also didn't hear from when this stuff came about was Simone Sanders. Now, what you're seeing on your screen is a thread of tweets that she had in exchange with Brett Kavanaugh, whether he responded to her or not back in September of last year, September 28th. Now, we know what happened with Brett Kavanaugh. He was basically found guilty of some sexual improprieties on his behalf, and he ended up having to go to Club Fed. Now, it's amazing because there has always been so many allegations that have come out against Joe Biden for years and with this most recent one, but she's being very quiet about it. So quiet, in fact, that she tried to get rid of these tweets. She actually deleted these tweets, but we've always said that the Internet is undefeated. And once it's out there, somebody's going to screenshot whatever it is, especially if you are a public figure. And as you can see, Simone Sanders, the pet bison, has a blue check and she literally stands out like a sore thumb, like you could not miss her in a crowd. Like she reminds you of that giant from Game of Thrones. So here is the thread of tweets that she decided that she was going to delete, but people got a hold of it. And I'm going to read to you the entire thread. Well, at least what you see on this page. She starts off with it's demoralizing to watch the patriarchy in America continue to silence the voices of so many. But the patriarchy's day is coming. We will not go silently into the night. Brett Kavanaugh is not out of the woods yet. His nomination can still be stopped. But regardless of what happens this weekend, if you stand on the side of justice, of truth, we cannot stop fighting. Now, look at that. His nomination can be stopped. Isn't that what Joe Biden is um, competing for a nomination in his p uh, particular political arena for the same exact things that he's being accused of as Brett Kavanaugh? But Simone Sanders was nowhere to be found. And these tweets she, she got, she deleted, but they weren't really gone for good. Like I said, the Internet is always undefeated. Today, Senate Republicans of the Judiciary Committee seemingly forgot Dr. Ford's testimony. They seemingly forgot the lack of documents and seemingly forgot that Brett Kavanaugh was interviewing for a job, a promotion that he is not entitled to have. Isn't that the same situation as the Tara Reid lady that brought up the allegations against Joe Biden recently? Like it's playing itself out right now. Exactly how she's tweeting. This is almost like she foresaw this was actually going to happen. But against the person that she's running behind, literally running behind more like steamrolling behind because I don't think she actually runs. Have you seen her feet? But um. After her powerful testimony were heard from Kavanaugh, as he sat before the Senate Judiciary Committee, he oozed with privilege and looked like a man who had never been met with a challenge. He exuded partisan talking points and refusing to call for an investigation to clear his name. You mean the same way that you're probably not going to call for an investigation for Joe Biden to clear his name or the same way those Me Too Time's Up heifers and skanks are not going to call for an investigation to clear his name or himself to clear his name? You mean that, that same thing, Simone? Dr. Ford's courage was powerful and it was infectious and courageous prior to. To her testimony, her courage inspired me to tell my own story of a college rape. Unfortunately, many Senate Republicans just seem not to care. I mean, these were the people that stand and stood by Trump. You mean the same exact way or the same exact thing that the Democrats are doing right now on behalf of Joe Biden? See, she shot her own self in the foot with these tweets. She probably never thought that this would come back and bite her in the rear end. She didn't. That's why she hurried up. She, she scurried to delete them. 
Because every tweet that I'm reading, and I have one more to read, every tweet that she has written so far plays out in the same scenario with Joe Biden right now and the lack of urgency on the behalf of this Tara Reid lady. Like I said in my previous video, Tara Reid could have easily been lying. But the me two times up mantra is to believe all women. But it should be believe all women when it, it's beneficial to us. At that point, it's, no, it, it's questionable. You have to question all women at that point or question most of them. After public pressure, she got her day. But instead of a fair hearing, she got a trial. Dr. Ford bravely stood before the world and told a truth far too many of us know all too well. She detailed how she was violated, how it affected her and why she felt the need to speak up. That's exactly what Tara Reid did. All the way down to the T. Everything that Simone Sanders wrote in that tweet on September 28, 2019 to Brett Kavanaugh and to all his supporters literally plays out the same exact way what's going on with Joe Biden right now and Tara Reid. And not to be confused with the the actress Tara Reid, because some people was confused and thought that I was talking about the actress Tara Reid. No, there's two different people. Her her last name is spelled different. Her last name is spelled R E A D E. The Tara Reid y'all are thinking of is spelled R E I D. But back to this, Simone Sanders, you have been exposed. You're literally doing the same exact thing that you accuse the republicans of doing last year with brett kavanaugh she didn't keep that same energy this is one of the reasons why i can't stand people like her she's loud she's boisterous and she basically is the combination of a wild buffalo a bison and a pittsburgh Steeler all rolled into one we've already seen her in action so we already know but see, she now, if you want to know the definition of a mammy, like gone with the wind, Hattie McDaniel type, she is the archetype of that. Most definitely from head to toe and everywhere in between the mental, all of it. And that's why she rushed to delete these tweets, because it would make her look like a hypocrite. But it's too late. You are a hypocrite, Simone Sanders. And a joke. April Fool's was on the first. You should have got your clown flowers then. But that's I can't stand people like her. I really can't. This is why I can't take the feminist and the Me Too and Times Up seriously. Because look, look at look at what you just heard. Listen to what you just heard me read. Look at what you see on your screen. And then look back at what I did or what the video I recorded about Joe Biden and Tara Reid a couple days ago. What's the difference? Oh, you want him to get Trump out so bad that you're willing to turn a blind eye to another woman. See, this is why this is another reason why I've always said that a lot of women, a lot of girls growing up, said they can't stand being around <clears throat> excuse me, other girls because they say you carry too much baggage and too much drama. Those me too times up individuals, they carry a lot of baggage and a lot of drama. And it seems that Simone Sanders does as well. But yeah, Simone Sanders, she definitely is not to be trusted at all. I don't care if she is a black woman. I don't trust her and neither should you. Many of you already didn't trust her anyway. So, you know, there's that. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video on that note. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Twitter if you haven't done so already. Have your notifications turned on and I will talk to you in the next one.